Hi, welcome back to All The Honeys. Today I'm going to take a look at my triple F, so my financial freedom fund. The main one, the one with Vanguard. So let's take a look. Welcome back to All The Honeys, I'm Marta. And in case it's the first time you see my face, I'm a coach and a designer living in London and I make videos about personal finance on this channel. Welcome. So the tough times are here, apparently recession is upon us and winter is going to be super tough. Before we look at the numbers and see the proper carnage, let's just say one thing. When you invest, you need to be prepared to pay the price. This is a concept that is popularized by the author of this book. It's a very good book about money and it's something I really believe in. If you are investing, you need to be prepared to pay the price for that investment. As a high-risk investor, you're probably more used to the idea of prices fluctuating, markets going up and down, and possibility of losing your hard-earned cash. But what about us? What about the people who invest long-term and invest, like me, mostly passively? Well, the psychology of money applies to everybody, and it also applies to us. We need to be prepared to pay the price. And the price for possibly better future is some discomfort right now in the present. I always say to my coaching clients, if you're not ready to lose your money, if you're not ready to look at your account and see it slashed in half, it means you're not ready psychologically to invest. It's all a matter of awareness. If you're aware of that, if you're aware of your fears, you need to learn how to manage them. If you're a person who struggles with anxiety, in relation to money. You really need to put certain strategies in place to make sure you manage that anxiety. I keep saying that and I work with my clients always on these things because there's absolutely no point in doing something now that does not serve you now and your future self. So this discomfort is wrapped up in awareness that yes, this is part of the price I'm paying. It's not ideal, but I'm willing to show up. I'm willing to do the work and pick up that check for my future self. Okay, so now let's take a look at my portfolio, enough of this talk. All right, first comes ISA. The value of my ISA is 76,000 and something, which is of course much less than it was last month. And let's take a look at my transactions. This time I'm showing you my cash statement because this is where you can find your dividends if they're being paid. Of course, if you're buying an accumulating fund, then all the dividends will be straight away reinvested into that fund. So it's not going to show here. Okay. So I got some dividends from my emerging markets, from my world, my global fund, and from my SP500. So that was in total more or less £336. And I reinvested those dividends into my global fund, as you can see here. So when we look at my orders, you can see that purchase as the last purchase in my ISA. As most of you know, I do not have an ISA with Vanguard this year. I have it with Invest Engine. And yes, the update is coming up soon. I know some of you asked, it will be up this month. So let's take a look at my investments. No changes here and the emerging markets is going down and down. So no changes indeed. Let's take a look at the performance for the last month. Everything went slightly down. Calculations for my fees actually is a month of both dividends and fees. Month by month performance. And we can see that it's gone down. Overall, it's still in green, but that is mainly because I had enough profit made in 2020, 2021. So that is just kind of sustaining that portfolio. Some of you are asking, how come I invested and it's all in red? Because of the timing, you invested at a different time, you probably different things. So your numbers will be always different. Now my pension. My pension value is £102,000 and something. And as you know, my goal for this portfolio is to put £1,000 this year 
every single month into my SIP, so into my private pension. Let's take a look at my transactions. And again, as you can see, I got some dividends on the 6th and on the 10th of October, um, more or less 50 pounds, and I straight away put it into my target retirement 2055 fund. When you look at orders, you can see that on the 30th of September, I put 1000 pounds in, that was for October. And then later on, on the 11th of October, I put that 54 pounds something. Here's the list and an overview of my holdings. Now you can see that there's much more red in there because of when I purchased these funds. So they did not have any chance to grow in current markets. So my target retirement 2055 is doing badly and my developed Europe excluding UK fund is also not doing great. And SP500, which is doing just fine in my ISA, is of course not performing here because like because, like I said, it was bought when it was bought. Let's take a look at my performance. It's still in the green. Let's take a look at the last month. Let's come down. Calculations for the fees. month by month performance and again it's gone down as you can see despite my contributions and now let's take a look at the whole portfolio so the value of my portfolio is 178,000 and something as you know last month it was slightly more and two months ago was even more so as you can see, the value of my portfolio has gone down considerably again, and I'm prepared to pay that price for my hopefully better future. So right now I'm still contributing a thousand pounds a month into this portfolio. And next year, we'll see, maybe I'll adjust the plan, maybe I reduce my investments, I can't tell yet. So the performance for the last month, Let's take a look at the clearest, so month by month calculations. And as you can tell, it's it was 179 and now it's 178. And that is not what you would expect with continuous contributions, but that is exactly what you would expect with current situation around the world. So finally, let's take a look at my favorite tab, the Insight tab. So we have product type. As you can see, I'm mostly invested in blended funds. That's because of my target retirement funds. My top eight geographical regions. My top 10 investments. Sector allocation and performance over the last three months, which is minus 2.3%. All right, guys, so this is my portfolio. I know that some of you actually waited for it and some of you check with me when it's going to be live. So this month, a bit later than usual. Like I said, I'm not expecting miracles. I'm pretty sure that the markets will keep going down and my portfolio will shrink despite my continuous contributions. But I've been investing for exactly three years now. So this is a drop in the ocean and part of the journey. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it inspiring and I'll see you soon.